Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 20th, 2022. Well, folks, I have recorded this video once already, and for some reason, um, YouTube just, it, it, uh, it's not working. It's not uploading. So I'm trying another video. So this is going to be a lot shorter, very quick video, so I can get this out this morning. First off, I want to remind everyone that Rightway Options is holding an open house right now, and we are doing some free education. Volume in the market is dropping, and I expect it to continue to drop throughout the week. So it's, uh, it's one of those things where we might as well be productive and get some education um, taken care of here heading into the new year. And if you are available today, the main class will be um, at 11 a.m. Eastern to 1 p.m. Eastern today. And we'll also do that um, Wednesday and Thursday of this week. Uh, the room is open all day long. You have free access. So the way to come to that is just go to the Hit and Run Candlesticks website. Go to www.hitandruncandlesticks.com. You want to click um, the link or the tab that says right way options and then just find the um, link to the trading room and you guys are good to go you can come on in no password required and we'll be there all day so let's take a look at these charts real quick i'm going to skip a whole lot going on um, here in the market obviously we had a pretty bearish day yesterday pushing on down and as you can see we've got a little bit of price support right in here we're going to have to watch that pretty carefully because if that fails we have a pretty substantial drop that could occur to the next price support in the chart if we can get a little bit of bullishness coming into the market then we might rally up into some price resistance right in here or push through there price resistance right in here in the chart. Unfortunately, in all of our index charts, we're going to run into some uh, pretty substantial price resistance levels and a combination of technical levels here in the chart that could create a little bit of a problem for us. So watch that close. Now, the good news here in the Dow is it is still the strongest. We're continuing to hold this higher low here in the diamonds. So keep a close eye on that. This may be the opportunity or the index that gives us the best chance of that relief rally bounce. Now, when we look at the, our SPY and QQQ, it's not quite the same. As you notice here, SPY dropping down here yesterday pretty hard, testing some levels of price support that I think um, a lot of folks didn't think would come into play. Now, if we look at this and we fail, if the bears continue to push here, I want you to notice we could drop down into this area pretty easily. And if that doesn't hold, then we're probably looking at new uh, lows for the year um, in the market. However, if we can get a little bit of relief going, a little bit of a bounce coming up, we might find a little bit of lift right up into this area. And if we can push on through that, maybe just a little bit higher up into here, and then we really run into some significant price resistance in the chart, as you can see across these levels here, we're going to run into a significant level um, that may be a little bit challenging to move us through. Of course, we have failed our downtrend. And we have also failed the uptrend here in the chart. So Santa Claus rally, as much as they continue to talk about it, continue to hype about it, I got to tell you, any rally back to a resistance level in here, and I'm actually going to be thinking more on the short side of the market unless we can recover some of the, and hold some of those support levels. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Very similar situation. Now, unfortunately, one of the problems that we've got here in this market is we've got a lot of pressure in big tech and um, you know the wisdom of all of these uh, folks who manage our indexes they have taken the same stocks and put them in the qqq the spy and the dow so a stock like apple selling off so strongly breaking some support here in the chart and happening to be the biggest company in the world 
Well, that has knock-on effects across the entire market. So when you think about that, keep that in mind when we're looking at the NASDAQ and SPY. They took the biggest hit yesterday as those big techs continued to sell off. Now, if we take a look right in here in the NASDAQ, as you can see, we've got a little price support right in here. But I got to tell you, if that doesn't hold, well, it's a pretty severe drop to the next level here in that chart. And then we're probably looking at new lows on the year in the QQQ. However, if we can get a little bit of relief bounce, if we can get a little hope to the upside, then we might have that bounce up into here that would provide us that little bit of relief. And um, then we'd be looking at some fairly significant price levels in there that could resist us moving higher. If we can move up into here, again, more resistance that may come into play. And unfortunately, technically in the chart, this is not a good situation because we can see our eight exponential moving average is already crossing down and we're creating quite a zone of moving average or technical resistance in the chart. And if you'll take a quick peek at that 50 day moving average, our 50 day moving average is starting to do that. So we'll want to watch that close here in, uh, as we move forward. Now, keeping in mind, if we look at our Russell, IWM continues to be very, very weak and officially in a downtrend because we created a lower high followed by a lower low. So in this chart, and by the way, we also failed along our downtrend here in this and failed the upside trend. So pretty bearish overall in this chart. Looking at our price support in here, you can see, well, we still have a potential move lower to really catch that price support here in the chart, maybe a little bit lower or even down into here to catch that next level of price support. But if we can get a little bit of bullishness coming in, look for a resistance level right through this range right in here. We've got these areas in the chart that display um, that area of resistance. And if we can move back up, I would be watching a level right in there for that resistance to come into play. If we can push through that, then we're going to look right up here just a little bit higher. We're going to pick up that little bit higher resistance area in the chart. But unfortunately, guys, this chart still does not look good um, overall because our technicals are really starting to diminish here in the Russell. Now, really, really quick, I'm going to go through a couple of things here and then close this up so I can get this out in time. But if we take a look... If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX didn't have a big response yesterday, which is kind of interesting um, that we're not showing much for fear here in the market. And that could be good, good for the bulls. If the bulls are just kind of drifting around here, um, not willing to get going. But we do have this problem of a bit of an inverted head and shoulders pattern. We're holding in here on this higher low. We have broken the downtrend here in the VIX. So if we find a little bit of fear coming into the market, then I would watch that close for that potential that that could kick higher. If those bulls defend, if they really come in hard, then we might break this level of support, and that would change things quite a lot here, and I'd have to give that one up to the bulls. Now, our T2122 continues to be our best hope of a little bit of a relief rally. We are in a short-term oversold condition. Unfortunately, guys, we don't have a lot to give us inspiration here today um, to really pump us up here in the market, but we are oversold. Now, one thing I want to point out is we spent a lot of time lingering here in the overbought condition. So remember, when we turn that around, we can spend quite a little bit of time in the oversold condition. So it doesn't necessarily mean we have to, have to bounce right back up. Um, the little rally at the end of the day gives us that chance that we can see the bears push back down to the downside um, here today. Um, but we have a much greater opportunity for that relief rally to the upside. It's what I'd like to see. Um, a nice little relief rally could help us quite a little bit in um, seeing that um, those short trades setting up here in the market. So watch that carefully. Our T2108, T2108, unfortunately, um, 
well, it really didn't help us out yesterday. As you can see, we've lost some pretty significant levels of price support in here. 34, 35% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average is a tough place to make, you know, really say that's very bullish. But you can see we still have a little bit of hope of grabbing onto some of these support levels through here for a little bit of relief bounce. If that fails, well, we're in trouble. But if we can rally back up, hey, there may be that opportunity for at least a modest Santa Claus rally. And then our T2107, T2107. Um, gives us a little tiny bit of hope. You'll notice here in T2107, although we did crack down through those support levels yesterday, it wasn't terrible. So if we could bounce back up off of that, if we could get a little relief in the market, then we could turn that back around. But once again, 37, 38% of the stocks holding above their 200, not exactly the biggest warm and fuzzy on the bullish side there. So watch that close. Now we do have an additional level of support down in here if we continue to fall. So I don't think we're in really terrible situation here on that. I'm going to skip right over T2101 guys because our volumes have been extremely light here. Um, yesterday was, was light. Today is likely to be light. If we take a look look at our um, economic calendar you can see why about the only thing we've got going here today for a mo market moving report is the housing um, starts and permits consensus is expecting those to continue to decline so not a good situation here if uh, that turns out to be a bearish report today uh, that's not going to help us out a lot and there's really nothing else on that calendar and we're going to be in the big wait and see mode coming into uh, consumer sentiment um, existing home sales petroleum status we get those mortgage applications so um, it could easily be um, more of a wait and see day choppiness not really going around anywhere low volume chop can be very very dangerous and then keeping in mind so we the big numbers are over here on thursday when probably a good portion of the market is going to be heading out for their holiday plans so um, watch that carefully and we could see volumes drop substantially let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar we've got a few stocks to be paying attention to today i'm not going to cover everything um, um, we've got fedex that's supposed to be reporting today um, or not fcx fedex that's supposed to be reporting today um, that hasn't been looking all that great as you can see here uh, breaking that trend here um, so watch for that report it's an undisclosed time at least at this point the information I have of when the FedEx is going to report so keep an eye on that we've got FDS that will be reporting this morning a um, little bit of back and forth going on here on that one popping around we've got GIS uh, General Mills reporting today and looks like that disappointed here this morning pushing lower on that now this afternoon we're going to have Nike largely expected Nike is going to be seeing some substantial year-over-year -year declines in sales and revenue but that will be this afternoon so you'll want to keep an eye on that um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you're gonna to have to do your own due diligence and just keep in mind that we're in a pretty dangerous market right now and when volume starts to shrink it becomes even more dangerous we can have uh, big reversals we can have a lot of head fakes we can have um, um, quite a little bit of price volatility within a stock we can get full-on reversals particularly on the overnight basis so be careful how you position yourself in these companies now i gotta tell you when we start i'm going to go back to apple here and pick on tech just a little bit um, as you can see apple breaking through these support levels here in the chart and really the only the only place left is to to test the the low of 2022 and it sure looks like we could be headed there now if we do get a rally back in apple what i'm going to be looking for is any rally back in apple into these resistance areas if it starts to show 
pressure or pain to the downside, I'll be looking at Apple as a potential short. And I've got to say the same when I look across a lot of these tech stocks. Um, take a look at Google. Um, Google certainly selling off lower high, lower low, breaking support here in that trade. So any rally back, I think, sets up um, a possible short. AMD also in the same position, lower high, lower low coming into play here in that chart. As you can see, breaking down through support, any rally back would set up that next opportunity short in a potential downtrend. Now there are stocks out there in that tech sector that are trying to hold a little bit better. Um, if you take a look at NVIDIA, NVIDIA holding in there, it's not exactly um, you know, uh, not exactly giving um, a big warm and fuzzy here at all. In fact, it's certainly weakened an awful lot in this chart, but we still have that chance that we could grab onto that little bit of support in here that, of that upside trend and still bounce. But I got to tell you, it's slipping pretty quickly here. So just be really, really careful here in that chart. Now, last night we had Asian markets down substantially. There was kind of surprise move from um, Japan. Um, instead of raising their weights, rates, they just widened out their tolerance for um, bonds, um, which brought everything in Asia down um, last night. European markets are a little bit mixed this morning. So um, I think we're just going to have to be really, really careful. Now, if you take a look at the dollar, the US dollar gapping lower here this morning, that can be bullish for several things. And you know that we've been talking about gold. Gold gapping up here this morning and could be an opportunity buy here soon on that trade. As a matter of fact, I think if we break out of some of these resistance levels up in here, um, I think gold could have some pretty decent upside. Um, silver would be another that could have an opportunity here to, whoops, better get silver. Um, it could have a nice um, opportunity here up off of this trend um, if that continues to happen. Copper um, would be another place um, that you might want to look. Now copper, an FCX anyway, it's had a little bit of a struggle right in here, but if it can reclaim that little support area and hold it up here, then I would be uh, a bit more interested in it. Right now it's a little bit questionable push up here and hold, and then we may have um, some upside potential into that. Um, I think we can also keep an eye on um, oil stocks. Um, we have seen quite a bit of destruction in oil, but with the dollar falling, we typically see commodities like oil move higher. So watch that carefully in here. If we bounce off of this support area, and I apologize this drawing tool I have just continues to change the tools on me. If you can see um, that little bit of support, we might be able to catch some love in here and bounce back up. But I got to tell you, any rally back up, I would be watching for a potential short in most of these energy sector stocks because of the demand destruction we are seeing. Um, another place that I'm looking for a potential short is I think any rally back in the financials. We, we're, there's a new story out just yesterday, uh, yesterday about the real huge rise in um, repos, um, auto repos uh, going on. Prices went way up in autos during the pandemic. Everybody kept spending like a drunken sailors. And um, now there is a big problem. Folks are having to prioritize their spending a little bit more and they're not affording these cars. So repos are going way up, and I think our financials have some major problems ahead of them here on that front. And not only that, but in the housing sector. So watch that close. Any rally back up in here, I think, sets up an opportunity to short the financials. So watch that carefully. So with that, guys, I'm going to wrap this up real quick. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Hopefully you guys, um, anyone that's listening, will get a chance to come on over to the Right Way Options Room. Again, the class, the main class today is going to be from 11 a.m. Eastern to 1 p.m. Eastern today. It's open to the public. Invite your friends. Go over to the Hit Run Candlesticks website. 
click on the right way options tab and jump right over into our room. There is no password required. Look forward to seeing you there and hope you have an awesome day.